and she would have gotten away with it if it weren't for us meddling retailers. I am a custom framer and I had a customer make a $400 order. She was surprised at the price and asked why it was so high so I went into my speech of the benefits what the process is yada yada. She said okay and then paid for her piece. I told her it would be too weak and we will give her a call when it's ready. Next day I came in to a negative review on the shop from the same woman saying the prices were waaaaaay too high. I shrugged it off because she literally went up the wrong channel for that complaint and it will go nowhere. Does matter if I go to higher ups to say customers are saying too expensive since all they say is you're a salesperson sell. So, yeah, but I could tell this customer was going to be a pain. Two weeks passed and the piece is ready and looks pretty good. I give her a call and she comes to pick it up. Oh, it looks great, but I want the refund. I'm sorry, it's just too expensive and I want my money back. If that's what she wants you know? So I said, okay give me one moment to remove the art and I picked up the piece. Oh, no 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 I don't want it removed. But you want a refund? Yeah but it's already in the frame. And it will take me all of 5 minutes to remove it. Oh, since it took 2 week I thought. And she trailed off. Ma'am are you wanting the frame? Yes. And a refund? Yes. Well that's just not how that works. You have two options you sign this paper saying our business is done and that we did everything that you wanted and you take your new framed piece home without a refund or you get a refund and no frame. She was pissed but signed the form and left with her art. I was baffled. How she thought she had the perfect plan for a free frame is beyond me. If it weren't for us having them pay at drop off she probably would have tried dashing for the door with it like some dine and dash. And the award for most patient cashier ever goes to. What follows is a true and accurate account of a transaction I just witnessed in a branch of a well-known British bakery chain whilst on my lunch break. Customer. Do you have any sausage rolls? Cashier. Yes. How many would you like? Customer. Are they suitable for my child? Cashier. Erm. Customer. How hot are they, please? Cashier. We have some that are just ready and hot and some that are pre-packaged and cold. Customer. Do you have any that are in between? Cashier. I am afraid not. Sorry. Customer. Oh. Well, do you have a fridge? Cashier. Yes, but. Customer put two hot ones in the fridge and bag two cold ones, please. Cashier. I can't do that, I'm afraid. And the cold sausage rolls come in packs of four. Customer. Well, I only want two cold ones, and the other two I want lukewarm. Cashier. I could give you four hot ones and you could wait until they have cooled down to eat them. Customer. That's no good. He wants one now. Can I blow on it and see if he'll take it? Cashier. I am afraid you will have to buy the sausage rolls first. Customer. Well that's no good. Let me see. Cut them up into little pieces and put them together in two separate bags and then that way they will be in between. Cashier. Okay. Quote dot. The cashier cuts the sausage rolls up into small pieces and places the pieces in two separate bags. The queue is now 20 customers strong, at least, and stretches into the street. It comprises mostly of people, like myself, who need to get back to work. Cashier. Is that all for you today? Quote dot. Customer. Can I have one of your spooky Halloween biscuits? Cashier. Yes. Which one would you like? Lord preserve us. Customer. Which one do you recommend? It's a cookie, lady, not a Fabergé egg. You're not making an investment here that will benefit your decedents. Take the bat-shaped one and get on your bike. Little old lady loses her mind. Me. Your total will be 0.99p. Her. Hands over a 20 pounds note. Me. Oh I am sorry, do you have anything smaller? We don't have any change at the moment. It's the beginning of the day. Her. No. Me. Oh ah, uh, well could you use your card instead? As I say we have no change, not even 5 pound notes. Her. No is this going to take long? I am parked outside. Me. Okay. Hands her her change in the mix of pound coins, 50 p's, 20 p's and even some tens. Her. What on earth is all this? Me. Your change. I did try an exp. Her. This is nonsense, drops coins everywhere, I am not accepting this. Me. Okay well I'll have to take your item back. Her. But I paid for it. Me. But if you want your money back no you didn't. Her. What kind of a shop is this? I will be complaining to your head office. Me, if you leave without paying, I'll have to call the police. Her. 
throws the item at me, this is what I think of this nonsense. Me. Permits myself a small sigh. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a good one.